Over 80% of our viewers are not subscribed, so why not subscribe and join the channel today? In the commercial aviation industry, there are two planes that would most likely come to mind when you think of cutting-edge airliner technology. We are of course talking about the Airbus A350 and the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the two flagship aircraft or the two titans of the commercial aviation sector at the moment. But what sets the two apart? In what ways are they therefore similar and or different? What are the pros and cons of each? And all things considered, which is the better aircraft overall? As you'll see, the answer is not so black and white. Let's begin with the similarities between the two aircraft types. Most noticeable upon first glance is they do look very similar. Both planes are twin-engined and wide-body, and both feature sleek modern-looking noses and wings that set them apart from the appearance of older aircraft. On the inside, they look similar as well, with both having coloured LED-lit cabins, which can be adjusted depending on the weather, time of day, or for takeoff and landing. The rest is up to the airline in question that is committing to such a plane. They will kit their plane out with whatever cabin product that they decide, and of course, their branding. Outside of looks, both aircraft are constructed of at least 50% CFRP, or carbon fibre reinforced polymers which is more durable than traditional aircraft aluminium. This material, when used in the fuselage, allows for a more pressurized cabin, making for a more comfortable passenger experience. And if you've had the pleasure of flying on either the 787 and A350, one of the main takeaways you may notice is just how smooth of a ride it truly is on those long-haul services. Now, let's take a look at the pros of the Airbus A350. The first and most important positive of the 350 is its range. In this case, we are speaking particularly of the A350-900 ULR, which has a maximum range of 9,700 nautical miles, making it the longest ranged airliner currently in service. Comparing this to the maximum range of the 7,600 nautical miles held by the 7879. Boeing's longest range to 787 variant at the moment. However, what has to be said is even the standard Dash 900 variant still boasts a range of 8,300 nautical miles. It's therefore been a very popular aircraft for carriers that really want to push the limits of their route network, say for the likes of Singapore Airlines with their world's longest commercial passenger flights from the United States through to Singapore, or potentially in the future, the A350 series generally being used for Qantas's Project Sunrise. The 350 definitely has capacity on its side as well, with the Dash 900 holding up to 50 more passengers than the Dash 9 in a typical three-class configuration, not to mention the larger Dash 1000 can carry up to 100 more passengers than the largest 787. But it must be said, the A350-1000 directly is meant to compete with the Boeing 777, so therefore when it comes to capacity, it's not totally important in terms of comparing the two. On the side of passenger experience, the A350 has an overall wider and taller cabin than the 787, making it feel more spacious from the inside and allowing for wider seats. Finally, the 350 has a tail camera, which we think is a bit of a bonus for aviation fans who like watching the plane as it takes off. But there are positives for the 787. The most important pro is the cost and fuel efficiency, because yes, the 350 can travel further, but the 787 does make better use of its fuel for the distance it travels. The 787 is also cheaper than the 350, with the average A350 costing 50 million US dollars to purchase more. As far as passenger experience goes, the 787 also has larger windows of any passenger aircraft. This is of course a small detail, but in comparison to the 350's tail camera, that may just be a nice touch for aviation enthusiasts that prefer looking out the windows. So with all these factors taken into account, which aircraft is better? Well, the answer depends heavily on the goal of the prospective airline that is making the choice between the two. The A350 is, yes, a winner in range category, however, for airlines with maybe shorter routes, the 787 is a more economical option. Overall though, while the two aircraft are similar in many ways, they are very much different and typically the A350 is used to better compete with the Boeing 777, but something we've found in the industry is more and more carriers putting the 787 up against the A350 when it comes to a selection for their long haul operations. And in saying that, they can also coexist in the industry with a specific carrier.
The question remains though, what are your opinions when it comes to flying and more? Do you prefer jumping on board an Airbus A350 or a 787? Let us know down below in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this content here on Globetrotting. Do take care and we will see you next time.